I already did the East. Let's do the Western Conference as well. Let's announce the Western Conference All-Star Reserves for the 2022 All-Star Game. Y'all know your boy is very excited about this list. Let's get into it. Let's start with some of the no-brainers. Chris Paul. Oh, man, what a legend. CP3 will be making his 12th NBA All-Star appearance. He has been phenomenal for the Suns coming off of their NBA Finals trip. CP3 is averaging about 15 points a game, four and a half rebounds, and double-digit assists at 10.4. There are a lot of nights where Chris Paul is resting in the fourth quarters because he's got that Phoenix Suns team moving as, as like a, a, a unit. Like them, them boys, they move like a well-oiled machine night in, night out. They've already won 41 games. That is ridiculous, by the way. They're 41 and nine. They're in the midst of an 11-game winning streak. Chris Paul absolutely deserves an all-star nod and so does his backcourt teammate congratulations to Devin Booker making his third NBA all-star appearance also representing them Phoenix Suns he has been a walking bucket especially since he's came back from injury Booker averaging 25 points a game 5.5 rebounds a game 4.3 assists 13 pick out of the 2015 draft out of Kentucky Remember, I was pretty hard on Devin Booker to start his career. He got the Kobe comparisons. I didn't like that. Uh, but let's be clear. Over the last year and a half, Booker has stepped it up. I mean, obviously, you know, when you got a guy like Chris next to you, he makes everybody in the building better. Booker has been balling. Dude deserves to be an all-star. No questions about it. Another no-brainer for me, Luka Doncic. Got off to a rough start this season, but boy, has he turned it around. Third pick in 2018's draft. Dude has lived up to the hype and then some, averaging 26 points a game, 8.8 .8 rebounds a game, 8.9 assists for Dallas this year. And again, came in this, this season admittedly out of shape. Over the last month, it ain't been too many teams hotter than the Dallas Mavericks. Luka deserves to get in his third NBA All-Star appearance. He will be joined by Rudy Gobert, the big fella, reigning defensive player of the year for the Utah Jazz. I believe this dude deserves to be in the game. He cried one year on national TV about not making the game. So please let him in. Making his third NBA All-Star appearance for the Utah Jazz, averaging 16 points a game this year, 15.1 rebounds. Just a machine on the boards, 2.3 blocks. Probably going to win defensive player of the year again. Dude is an animal. He does not take a possession off. I think that's the biggest thing I can say about Rudy Gobert. Here's one of the questionable ones for me, though. Donovan Mitchell representing the Utah Jazz as well, making his third NBA All-Star appearance. 25.5 points a game, four rebounds a game, 5.2 assists per game. Now, I watch a lot of basketball, and this is just my opinion. I don't believe Donovan Mitchell has been as spectacular and loud this year with his impact on this Utah team. We'll get into it more in a second. Let's uh, show some love to Draymond Green, uh, an NBA player and also a Turner employee, making his fourth NBA All-Star appearance for the Golden State Warriors. He's averaging 7.9 points per game, 7.6 rebounds per game, 7.4 assists per game. He's a walking seven. That's a good luck charm. He'll be making the All-Star game. By the way, Draymond's going to be out, so we'll talk about that more in a second as well. And congratulations, last but not least, making his third NBA All-Star appearance is Carl Anthony Towns. 24.4 points a game, 9.5 rebounds per game, 3.9 assists for the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are competing out West. Could be a little better, but they are competing out West. So that gets me to what I like and don't like about the Western Conference All-Star Reserves. So this is what I would have did. You guys can tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your All-Star Reserves. Here's what I would have did out West. I did not believe Andrew Wiggins was an All-Star. I'm fine with him making a game. I do not believe he was an all-star. What I would have did if I had it my way, which I don't, because it's forwards and centers for the all-star starters, I would have had Carl Anthony Towns been the all-star starter um, instead of Andrew Wiggins. You And then I would have swapped out Wiggins or Green, meaning the Golden State Warriors get two guys. They're the number two seed in the West. They deserve two. I would have given either Draymond or Wiggins or not. Not both, because they both got in. I don't believe both should have gotten in. I don't believe the Warriors deserve two all-star starters and one reserve. I don't believe that. I don't believe they've been that great this year. So I would have let whoever you want, Draymond or, or Wiggins, whoever the Warriors, whoever that fan base wants, I probably would have rolled with, with Draymond. But, hey, whatever one you wanted, I'm fine with Wiggins making the game. Would not have given them three, though. 
I would have went with DeJounte Murray. If you have not had a chance to watch the San Antonio Spurs play basketball this year, it is a treat to watch D. Murray play now. The Spurs aren't winning a crap ton of games, but they're competitive in, in pretty much every game they got in the season, and in large part due to Murray's play. This dude is, is coming. You know, if, if, if history tells me anything, Greg Popovich had DeMar DeRozan over the last three, four years, and, and it looks like he was holding DeRozan back. So if DeJounte Murray is going to be better than what he is under pop system when he's playing with some better players, sky's the limit for the dude. He's, what, second or third in triple doubles this year? He, he is he is a walking bucket, a walking assist, a walking rebound. And I'm not talking about the Russell Westbrook rebounds and, and, and assists and, for the triple double. I'm talking about actually impacting his team's play with his triple doubles. I would have had DeJounte Murray making this game. Now, Draymond has already announced that he's out. So Draymond won't be there. So D. Murray will be the, the, the pick to come in. That's probably about 95% with certainty. I'll say that. Um, yeah, I don't have too many gripes with the West. I think they got it right in large part. I had Cat, Cat making the game. My only thing with Donovan Mitchell is I said he wasn't as impactful as I, I've grown accustomed to seeing Mitchell in the past. I still would have him in only because if you look at the West, look at the guys that are out this year. I mean, there's no Kawhi Leonard. No Paul George. He, he hasn't played in a month for the Clippers. Kawhi hadn't been there all season. Zion Williamson probably would have gotten that nod in the All-Star game this year. Didn't Obviously hadn't played a game this year. Probably not going to play a game this year. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so, you know, that those were some of the things that, to me, helped Donovan Mitchell, who's averaging 25. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if Utah deserve two guys. They're not the three seed anymore out west. They're the four seed. Memphis has overtaken them. Some people will make the argument that the Grizzlies deserve the guy, a second guy in. John Morant's obviously a starter. Jaron Jackson, Trip is close to making the game, you know, and, I, and if anybody wants to make the argument of Trip over, over, over Mitchell or Towns, I hear you. I hear you. I think it's a debate. Um, that Memphis team held it down pretty well when Ja was out of the lineup, so I get the conversation. I get the argument. Um, I think it's a debate. I'm fine with either or. I don't think that's an egregious snub by any means necessary uh, of, 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 of Trip. I think he'll make the game in the future. We shall see if he has a real argument to make it with Draymond out of the, the lineup over DeJounte Murray. Only time will tell. Memphis is starting to climb that Western Conference. But I don't think it was an egregious one, though, to put Mitchell in over, over, you know, over, over Jaron Jackson. We shall see. What happens with that one they got? Obviously, Damian Lillard ain't been playing. He's not in the game this year. There's a lot of open vacancy. Anthony Davis is another guy that you know typically makes the game. He's been down this year. So think about that. You got Dame, AD. You got Kawhi, PG. Hell, this is about the whole All-Stars. That's a starting lineup right there. You got so many guys. Zion that could have made the game the way he plays night in, night out. So many guys just not playing basketball or, or not able to, to withstand and play basketball, you know, Jamal Murray's a guy that could have been on this list as well. He hadn't played this year. He's trying to rehab his way back. Brandon Ingram didn't make the game this year for the Pelicans. He had made it in previous years. De De'Aaron Fox still looking to get that call. Yeah, it is. Man, wow. Houston Rockets obviously don't get a guy because Harden's no longer in the West and they don't play John Wall. But yeah, I'm fine with this list. It's a, it's a decent, look, it's a good list. Not, nothing egregious this year for either the East or the West. I, I would have not rolled with Draymond though, or Wiggins, whatever one, and I would have put Dejounte Murray in that in that game. That would have been my my one gripe. Let me know what you got in the, in the comment section below.